everybody it's Johnny for Focus Camera and today I have with me the new Sony 85 1.2 G Master Mark II. I'll be pairing it with the Sony A1 camera body as well as a DJI Ronin S2 gimbal for stabilization and the OWC 256 gigabyte V90 memory card for storage. Is there a better time of the year for portraits than fall? With the vibrant foliage providing a stunning backdrop, it's the perfect season for capturing friends, family, and of course pets, because they're your family too. And that's why I headed to Prospect Park with my model Dante to take some pet portraits and put this lens to the test. Cosmetically, it's what I would expect from a Series 2 GM lens. It's made of Sony's hybrid metal slash engineering plastic, so it's highly durable, yet lightweight, weighing in at 642 grams or 1.41 pounds, that's about 20% lighter than its predecessor and 13% smaller volume. That makes this lens great for using on a gimbal like the DJI RS2 like I use or a DJI RS4 Pro with payloads being about 10 pounds or even a lighter DJI RS4 with the payload of about 6.6 .6 pounds. The advantage of using a larger gimbal with a higher payload is that you can get away with more. I was using a 35 millimeter G Master Mark II. I wanted to switch to the 85 G Master Mark II without rebalancing the gimbal. I just swapped the lenses while it was already on here. I adjusted this knob here slightly to help out the motors and I did not adjust any other of the access points and the motors were able to handle it. If I had the six and a half pound payload, I would have rebalanced the entire gimbal. Check out the speed of the autofocusing. I tested this by focusing on Dante, then onto the background, then back onto Dante and the background and so forth. I had the dog sit on the middle of the hill. I focused on the dog, made sure my animal eye autofocusing was enabled. I was on autofocus continuous. I had the dog run directly at me and I fired off and I got all these shots in focus. As you can see here, it offers reliable capture even at a very wide 1.4 aperture. The XD linear motors and high speed control gives us auto focusing that is three times faster and moving subject tracking that is seven times faster than that of the previous model. It also supports the A93's global shutter and has 120 frames per second capability. Pro tip, when shooting action, set the camera to aperture priority mode, then hit the menu button and enter your settings. Scroll to the exposure tab and select exposure, then go to ISO auto minimum shutter speed. Select it and scroll to your desired minimum shutter speed. I picked 2000 since I knew I was gonna be photographing a fast moving subject. Now fire away. The camera will select an auto ISO while keeping your desired aperture and shutter speed. You can also set a maximum ISO range just keep in mind your exposure settings. Take a look at this image of Dante shot wide open at 1.4. Notice the grass and how this lens maintains sharp focus from the left edge of the photograph all the way to the right edge. For this shot, I use the focus mode expand flexible spot to weave the focus through the leaves and focus on the dog's eye. An 11 blade circular aperture, along with a new optical design, ensured smooth transitions from that which is in focus to that which is blurred out in the background. Let's zoom in to 100%. Look at the detail and how crisp this image is at its focal point. And this is straight from the camera with no editing. Impressive. This is an excellent portrait lens. I've been waiting a very long time for Sony to come out with a version two of their G Master 85 Prime and they finally did and it did not disappoint when it came to performance, autofocusing, how quiet the autofocusing was compared to the first one, how sharp the images are. I mean, it's everything that I, that I wanted it to be. Yeah, we didn't get the 1.2, but that's okay. They made up for it with the performance of it and the weight and compact size of this lens. It fits in to all the other G Master Series 2 lenses and I can't wait to add it to my bag. It retails at $1,798 and you can pick it up at focuscamera.com or click the link in the description. I also wanted to thank Dante for being such a good boy on our shoot. I wish him a lifelong supply of delicious treats and long walks in the park. Please like and subscribe for more similar content 
And until next time, I'll see you guys later.